afternoon everybody and welcome to vlogmas three not day three three <laughs> it is the evening and very much actually it's not the evening it's the afternoon but it looks like the evening so i've had to put on my filming light today so i may be looking a little bit blue and smurf-esque she is why she's out and about she hasn't been out since a haul it's been a while but She's back. We need a little bit of, we need a little bit of zhuzh today. <laughs> so, I'm currently sat on my floor in the office with lots of outfits because I am about to get ready to go to two Christmas events, actually. So I thought I'd get ready with you. I've laid out everything on the floor that I need because I thought it'd be easiest and because I am slightly rushing. And I haven't decided on my outfit yet, so we're gonna decide together. So, I'll show you the options so far. We'll have a decide. I wish it was live so I could ask you, put you on a poll and see which outfits I should wear, but we can't, so not the end of the world. Anyway, these are the options I have. So we have a bit of a gold dress. We also have some kind of leather look trousers, not leggings, trousers. I'll show you them on though. Little white crop. We've got a little sparkly jumpsuit. We've got some new stuff from In The Style actually, which I do want to show you. And then over here, we have some prods. So I have put on my moisturizer and my CC serum, which is my like tinted moisturizer on top. Two moisturizers in one, what am I like? <laughs> but these are the rest I need to use. And actually, I did want to talk to you about this Shaw deodorant. So you may or may not know, but I've been working for Shaw for quite a while now. I have been using their deodorant since I began the gym because I do find it's the best to like protect against the serious, <laughs> the serious sweat. Now they are currently running a campaign that's all to do with the festive party season. So think LBDs, little black dresses, sparkly outfits, and this little guy is especially, exceptionally, specially good at not leaving white marks, ugly marks. You know, you know when you have deodorant that's not very good and it just leaves marks on your outfit when you're out and about, or the next day this little guy doesn't do it. So even if you're wearing like a black party dress this little guy doesn't come through and we're gonna have a little try on when i try on my outfit because we have some black well actually we do have a little black dress but we've got a black jumpsuit and we've got a black trouser that's what i wanted to say <laughs> anyway let's try on the outfits decide what we're gonna wear they get the makeup going. I'm also actually going to, I, I asked on my Instagram today if there's anything you guys wanted me to chat about or any questions you wanted to ask while I get ready. So we're gonna have a chatty get ready with me. Anyway, I'm gonna put you on here actually. Let's get profesh. <laughs> Do you know what? I've just popped that new deodorant on. <laughs> and I feel like I smell like, it's not a rose. No, it's not a rose. <laughs> this probably looks so weird. I can't work out what the smell is, but it smells glorious. But this is outfit number one. What are we thinking? I feel like I like it. However, I do think this is slightly too cash. I think it. I'm feeling very comfy. Bottoms are from ASOS, by the way, and this top is from Topshop. But I just don't think it's quite the right vibe. I mean, it would look cute with like a little bun, which I think I'm going to do tonight, like a little top bun. And like, I think it's just a trainer outfit, isn't it? I feel like I just can't pull off heels with joggers. I'm not one of them. I feel like some people can. I'm not one of the ones that can. So, this is option number two. Now, I don't know if you remember this jumpsuit. This jumpsuit, when did I get this jumpsuit? I think it was last year for my graduation. I love it, but I think this is the other end of the spectrum where I'm feeling a little bit too glam. I'm not very good at being glam, I'm not gonna lie. I always go in between, like, cash and dressed up. I mean, I love this, but I just don't know if I'm... I'm feeling it tonight. What we're thinking. This one's from Topshop, but it's quite old now. Right, this is the next one. I think this is just a no straight up. I wanted to risk it and just see. I basically, I recently bought this from Misguided. I actually bought it for when I go to the Maldives. I'm not very good at a short dress, I'm not gonna lie, but obviously in a hot country, it's kind of a necessity in the evening. So, no, not tonight. Right, the final one that I had in my head, <laughs> we may change, but I feel like this is my favorite so far. I mean, I haven't, I feel like this would work with a bun, which is what I had in mind of this possibility. So this is one of the new in the style bits that I've got. And I actually have this in the leopard print version. So I bought the one that's just red. It's from Emily Shack's collection. I am obsessed with her collection. I'm not gonna lie, there's something else in there from her collection. I just love it and I didn't ever think I'd like one of these tops because they're quite like princess-esque. I feel like I quite like it. Possibly a different jean though, I'm not sure. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see how I feel when I've done my hair and makeup, but I'm feeling like this is the closest. I just love, love this back, what we're thinking. Anyway, <laughs> I think we're gonna get on with makeup now, otherwise it's gonna be too long, but I feel like this top 
is a win. So the other two things that were in the in the style package, this is the other Emily Shack range piece. So it's kind of like a big oversized denim dress. And then you have this band to give it a bit more shape. And then we also have some sequin flares. Bit risky, but I feel like this this time of year brings it out in me. They look a little bit like a disco ball, but they could be cute on. I'm feeling like with a little black high neck top, maybe? Maybe. I think I'll have to try them both on to work out if I keep them. Right, so actually, are we gonna start with hair? We're we gonna start with makeup. I've got the trees out. <laughs> I don't know if you remember these. These are from one of my pretty little thing hauls, actually, and they are very much gonna come in handy this month. They came in handy last month, but people judged me. <laughs> actually, I'm gonna start with my hair, I think. So what I'm gonna do with my hair today, so makeup-wise, I think I'm gonna stick to my usual, so I won't chat you too much with into it, because I have done it quite a few times now. I'm just not one for experimenting with makeup, because it usually goes wrong. And then, with my hair, I'm gonna put in my usual wave, so I used the, this one, this is the Mark Hill one. It's kind of the one with the weird head. I don't really know what it's called. But it's good for like natural, nice kind of beachy waves. So I'm going to put them in my hair. And then I think I'm going to put it up in my, my little bun with the little front bits out. I don't know if you've seen me do it, but I'm enjoying it at the moment. How it's supposed to be Making our Christmas memories Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everything how it's supposed to be Making our Christmas memories I literally look like a Christmas tree. I've got the red top. No, I look like Santa. Just hear those sleigh bells ring a ling ting ting a ling a ling too Come on, it's a lovely weather for us that you are together with you Shall I start doing my makeup? Or shall I start chatting? I'm not very good at this. Do you know what? I was just thinking how much I struggle at filming Get Ready With Me's. And I don't know why I do it. I enjoy them, but I can't do two things at once very well. And my time management skills are shocking. So I'm always rushing. You probably noticed I always say, I'm in a rush. And I'm not just saying that. I'm in a rush. <laughs> so first off, I'm just popping on my usual Light Wonder Charlotte Tilbury foundation. This is it, this little guy, best little guy in the world, love her. It's not him, it's a hit, oh, 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 she just dropped on the carpet. This foundation is the greatest, it's glorious. That's all I have to say, it's glorious. By the way, my ring light is very much taking all the light out of my life right now, and I just look like, not light, all the colour out of me, except the top, obviously. Uh, it's not really taking all the colour, it's taking all the colour from my face and making me look very cold and pale. <laughs> so, let's have a look at one of the things somebody wants me to chat about and we'll have a chat. Oh, one that seems to be coming up quite a lot. So I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but the other night I did write on my story that I, I am thinking, thinking, I don't know yet, but I did write on my story about having the urge at the moment to cut my hair slightly shorter. Basically, I have a hair length that always stays the same. It literally just gets stuck at one length, and even when it's at that length, if it's been there for a while, which it usually is, I just leave it, which is obviously not an, a good thing. You should like get trims and that helps it. And I do look after my hair, this is the issue, and I do have a great hairdresser who helps my hair out whenever I ask her to. However, it just doesn't grow. And when it's at that length, it kind of just starts to look a bit ratty after a while and it's looking ratty like not right now and not earlier because I just blow dried it so it was looking quite like intact like tomorrow my hair will just look like a rat's tail a big rat tail I am thinking about cutting it kind of like a long bob there was a picture that I put on my Instagram story let me show you quick just in case you didn't see so this kind of vibe and I'm also wanting to kind of go a little bit more natural with my blonde not like fully but just so there's a better blend because at the moment I just have a little bit too much root too quickly so I want a little bit more of this kind of like gradual I used to have it like this and then I went really blonde in the summer and I think I need to go back and I may although I definitely don't suit a middle parting I may go that length I mean it's not even that much difference it would be like this let me see if we can have a look thinking i won't have actually had my appointment when this video goes live so do let me know down below if you think i should do it because i am a little bit worried i've always wanted long hair should i take that plunge and completely ca 
cancel out all my hair growing. The other one actually that came up quite a lot was about my eyelash extensions and do they ruin my eyelashes, my natural eyelashes? And I really don't think that they do. However, a lot of people do kind of have these debates that they really do, but they really shouldn't. The reason why they fall out and why you, you usually get like your natural lashes attached to it, because they don't fall out that often, but they do have to fall out sometimes is because of your natural lash cycle. They come out, but you just don't realize day to day. By the way, I'm also popping on now. This is another new fave, which I have chatted about a lot. It's my Charlotte Tilbury, she's back. Beauty Light Wand Easy Highlight. I absolutely love it. And I kind of use it as a concealer at the same time. I'm a little bit funny with my highlight. I always have been. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't think I used to appreciate bronzer as much as I should have. Did you not just see my face go from lifeless to lifeful? Look how much more life I have on me now. 10 years, <laughs> maybe not that much. So, someone has said, if you weren't a social media influencer, what do you think your life slash career would look like? So this is an interesting one. I feel like it's always quite difficult, obviously, to know, because you don't. But I suddenly grew like a love for fitness while I was at university, and I was studying music at university. So since I was a little girl, as I'm sure a lot of us have said when we were growing up, I wanted to be a pop star. I kind of just picked up songwriting, and then I decided that I wanted to go and study it and try and pursue music in London. So that's why I moved to London. And then it kind of all went a little bit ship shape, and I very much changed sort of career paths and became a personal trainer. But I think if I wasn't doing what I'm doing now, now, I would still love to sing, but I kind of prefer to just sing as a hobby because university was very intense. It kind of, I found it destroyed my natural raw love for making music and singing, for making me feel good. It kind of was always fulfilling briefs and some people weren't the nicest in the music school. Or, I don't know, I just found a little bit of a weird environment. There was obviously nice people, but it was just intense and competitive and just a bit much. So it was a little bit draining and when I came out of uni, I completely stopped singing for about six months or something and then I picked it back up slowly throughout my videos, if you may have seen. But I do feel like I wouldn't even pursue that now. I think <laughs> I would do what I'd love to do is that my biggest dream is to open up like a huge animal home and just like cater for all the animals that I can that don't have homes and just have a big like hotel of not hotel because they'd stay there forever but just a huge home where they were just looked after properly and lived wonderful lives I just love to do that I don't know why I think I'd love to do something with animals or music I think that's what that's that's my answer to that one which got quite long quite fast do you know what? I don't even think I'm gonna put eyeshadow on today I've completely gone out of the habit I used to put my bronzer on my eyes and then before that it was my blush but I've gone out of the habit I don't think I'm gonna do it, you know. I don't know why I'm talking in this voice. <laughs> so let's do a bit of brow. I'm gonna use my good old trusty Ilia palette. So I'm just popping on my spiky brow, the one that I actually am currently using. I go through stages. I was using the Glossier Boy Brow for a while, but it ran out. And there was another one that I had in my makeup bag. For, I think it was from a goodie bag, you know. And the brand's called B Brow Bar, and it's the clear one. I don't like doing too much with my brows. I just like them to be spiky. I think they're a little bit spiky. Are they spiky? They're a little bit. <laughs> right, my makeup is mainly done. I just need to put a little bit of a lip on. So I think I'm just gonna do my usual gloss. I don't think I'm gonna put any lip on today, I'm feeling. Just wanna cover a couple more questions because I don't feel like I've done many. Haven't been very good today at multitasking, I'm not gonna lie. One question that has come up a lot, which I have been meaning to talk about for ages in a vlog, but I just never have got around to it, I've just forgotten, is my tattoos. So I've had so many questions recently about what ones I have, why I have them, how they were, what my experience is, and I don't really know why because I haven't literally had a new tattoo in about four years. Is. So I haven't had anything new since I started on social media, but I don't know I guess maybe my arms been out more. <laughs> I think my newest one will would be this very large one on my arm Which you may have spotted when my arms been out and about <laughs> So this one is a kingfisher with two lotus flowers You can't see the other lotus flowers covered and I have it in like a sketch style So it's all designed by my mum. It's all about my mum. Me and my mum are very close if you don't know 
we are. I love her very much so, and um, I don't know, it's just all, all for her, all about her, just a little bit of a mother-daughter vibe. She actually has a ta one tattoo, one very big tattoo, and I'm a bit of a part of hers too, so we, we're connected by ink. Then I also have a Disney quote on my wrist. It is from Mary Poppins, actually. It says, anything can happen if you let it. When I got it done though, I decided to get, I mean, I think there's always a debate of how, which way around you get tattoos on your arm or your wrist. But I got it done so that you could read it that way around when it's just hanging on my arm. But if I go to read it, it's upside down and I just don't like it anymore. And then we also have a little heart on the finger. This one doesn't really have a meaning. I'm just going through a stage of wanting to look cool. And then we have another little one here. And then I also have my brother's names on one foot. And then we also have a diamond on the back of my other foot. But yeah, if you're thinking of getting a tattoo and you 100% feel like you want to do it, then do it because, you know, life's too short. Just do what you want to do. But I personally just don't want any more myself because I'm just not too fast anymore. And one other question I'm going to do is if if you and Niall are buying a house together, does that mean you're getting married? Well, we're currently not engaged, but we do talk about marriage and I would like to marry Niall. I hope that he would like to marry me too. We've been together for nearly four years now in about two weeks time. We'll have to see how things go. We'll see how life pans out. We are gonna buy a house together though, probably next year. So I'm very excited about that. It's kind of like my big, 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 big dream of all dreams. Very exciting. Anyway, I'm going to get on with putting my hair up in a bun and finalising what I'm going to wear because I'm not, I'm still not 100% sold. I feel like I look like a princess gone wrong at the moment. <laughs> but I shall be back and we'll get going with life in the vlog. Good afternoon. How's your day going? Oh, we haven't seen you much today. Bluebell's repping her Christmas jumper as usual. This one's from Amazon. She has many others, don't you, Bluebee? You like to like to get a little bit festive. Blue Bell's like me, she likes a bit of a sparkle during this, this time of year, don't you, Blue? Yeah, it's winning. Also, actually, I need to tell you something. So Pop is currently hiding in this cupboard. Hello, little one. Came in this morning and she was limping. I don't know what happened. I feel like she's in the wars a bit at the moment. We've been keeping her in a lot more than we used to after she had that whatever happened where she kind of got attacked a while ago but yeah i mean it's just daytime and she came in and she had i mean she could have just fallen it might not be anything like attack worthy but yeah she's got a bad foot so she's limping about poor little thing not being a usual little sass but feeling sorry for herself i feel like i need to make her some soup anyway i'm just about to wrap her holly's present so i'm going to show you quickly what i've got her so this actually is something that i already have and because i loved it so much i just thought holly will love it too by the way holly is the girl's birthday that I'm going to later. So I've got her this from, this is actually from Quiz, which I've never bought from before, but they did have a similar one on In The Style, which I think had sold out. But this one's Quiz, I love it. I will link it below if I can, if it's still in stock. I think it should be. And then we also have this little nasty gal leather skirt. So Holly's like me, Holly loves a star or three, so I just thought it was perfect. And Holly can 100% pull off like really cool little bits of fashion like this, so. I'm hoping she'll like them. I'm gonna get wrapping and I'm gonna feel festive while I do it. <laughs> Niall's currently deciding on his outfit. What are we thinking? Give us a give us a twirl. Give us an OOTD, where everything's from. This is from All Saints, this jacket. I think it looks rather wonderful on you, I must say. I save it for, uh, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> I save it for special occasions. And this t-shirt is All Saints as well, actually, which is a bit embarrassing, didn't mean that's happened. <laughs> My jeans are from ASOS somewhere. I think your jeans look very fashionable. You just need to cover up those toes. <laughs> <laughs> You've got pink. hairy toes. Get it closer. No, some Get people don't like feet, including me. I didn't see it. It's all right. Disgusting. I don't know, I feel it's sl slobby. slobby. You look cute. Get get your fringe out, you'll be fine. So I'm currently cooking myself some makeshift dinner because I was stupid and didn't time anything right today. I'm just literally making myself some pasta and I'm gonna put butter and cheese with it because it's been a busy day. So I've actually decided to not change my outfit at all. I've just put on a jumper because I've got like, you know when you've got a chill? 
I've got a chill. I think it's because I'm hungry and I haven't drunk enough water today. I can't even speak either. My brain's just a bit frazzled because I haven't eaten enough. That's why I'm making pasta before I get any Prosecco down me at Holly. So I have actually just popped on this Starry Jumper from Nasty Girl because I'm freezing. But I have just kept the red top on and the jeans. To be honest, I'm, I've just decided I'm just going to go a bit casual because I feel like I'm cold, I want to be comfy, I'm just feeling a bit tired out, so I think going casual and just being comfy is the best way, and it's raining now, so, you know, but I'm, I'm sure it'll be nice and warm at Holly, so I'll probably get the, I'll get my princess red top out, and then I'll look a little bit more fancy, I might throw my hair in a bun, but I wasn't feeling it when I did it earlier, so, anyway, I will see you, I don't know how much I'll vlog there, me and I will probably get a little bit, but not too much, I'm going to eat my pasta, I'm going to cuddle Bluebell, maybe, actually I think George's puppy Maya is there, so I'll try and get a little bit of him, because he's cute, but I don't think we're going to take Blue, this is going to be a bit loud, and Bluebell's not very good with loud, do you? You're a bit of a home, home bird, aren't you Bloob? Oh, look at your face, you've got so many cute shots in Vlogmas with you so far, Blue. just come in to see Maya. This is George's dog, Holly's boyfriend's little puppy. He's so cute. Him and Blue are friends. How are you, Maya? <laughs> it's not coming to the party, it's too loud. Bless you, little Maya. No, do the Grinch impression. Go on, Oh, come on. She's doing the Grinch. for this camera. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>